What's good, everyone? And here we are with another episode of Unboxing with me, Johnny McWang. So on today's episode, I have been waiting for this piece. I think I ordered it at the beginning of March and it's finally been delivered. And I'm excited because I literally, it came yesterday during my 12 hour charity stream. I wanted to unbox it. I was like, no, I'll literally do an unboxing. And it is the Bo-Katan Black Series helmet. Uh, it cost me £119 from Zavi.com. It was on sale. And it is something that when I saw it was released, I definitely wanted to have it as part of my collection. So I think, without hesitating anymore, because it's literally been sat here for a day, we are just gonna get into it. Now, the Black Series collection is made by Hasbro. They are all top quality pieces. I have a Black Series Sabre. Uh, I had a, another Black Series Sabre as well, unfortunately. And this is a bit of top consumer advice. If you have products that are on display just for a collectible, do not leave batteries in them as the acid will corrode and it will literally eat away at the electronics and eventually ruin them. Uh, oh, no, I missed one. But so I've been waiting for this literally for nearly six months, nearly six months it's been. It's been on a backlog. And honestly, I cannot wait to get it. It's quite heavy as well as I'm expecting it should be. Very well packaged. Uh, that is just warranty stuff. Ooh, comes in two pieces. I'm not surprised if one will be the antennae and then the other one will be the helmet. Uh, nope, nothing else in that. Honestly, so I had a choice. Wow, that is amazing. Uh, so I had a choice, the choice of either to get the Boba Fett helmet rearmored. Um, I was going to get the Mandalorian one, but I do have a cosplay one, as you can see, just there. So I thought I'll get this. And honestly, I am a big Star Wars fan. I have literally seen everything Star Wars that is literally available to watch. Not read so much lore or canon, but I do try to keep up with it as much as possible. Now, does that just literally... Slide in there. Let's find out. Yes, it does. And then that moves and that moves. Clips in. I'm guessing the battery. We'll find out where the battery goes in a minute. But there it is. Honestly, look at that. I am. Um, in love with this piece i love all my collections like literally that's why i buy them and this is why i want to start reviewing them you know it's good material it's very hard plastic very hard plastic um it's quite actually lightweight when you get into it um the inside it has an adjustable strap i imagine it's this <clears throat> sorry excuse me i imagine it is the same as the iron man helmet uh, strap wise so without there we do here we go there we go the only problem I find with these helmets is I mean they they are more collector pieces if you want to get stuff for cosplay um, then do so. You can still buy cosplay stuff. It's a lot cheaper uh, and it's not going to get ruined. You know, for me, this is just a collector's item. This is going to literally sit in my cabinet very proudly. Um, and I will eventually <laughs> find out where the battery goes 
um, and what it does. But no, I am massively impressed with this, I say. Um, it is a bit on the pricey side of £130. Um, but a lot of the Black Series stuff is, but then it is made for good quality. So there we go. So in summary, it's hard, it's sturdy, it looks as good as it does on the Mandalorian TV show. It's a lot more comfortable than wearing the Hasbro Pulse Iron Man mask. And honestly, I am absolutely chuffed to bits with this. I've put the battery in. That literally just, you pull this um, compartment down here and it slots in. Unscrew it, battery in, screw it back up. The button there is a spring-loaded catch system that moves the aiming sight down. So literally, all that we have got left to do is finish up for the day. In summary, great piece. Can't wait to have it on display. And always, may the force be with you. Have a great day, all.